What's up, y'all? It's your boy Kev on stage with the lovely and luxurious and Miss Kev on stage, and this is the Marriage Be Hard <laughs> conversation. Very good with our good friends Lauren Speed Hamilton and Cameron Hamilton yeah. from the hit television program Love Is Blind. Yes, Correct. Yes, yes, Melissa yes. and I have loved them since they was blind. Now they see. <laughs> uh, y'all, if you don't know them somehow, I don't know how you couldn't. But if you don't, could you guys please introduce yourself to the to the people who may not know you? Sure. Of course. Well, you know, like Kev said, I'm Lauren. This is Cameron. We met on a show uh, called Love is Blind. We fell in love without ever seeing each other. Mm. Okay? You got to start with that. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we were engaged and married within, what? Seven weeks. Seven weeks. Yes. And we're going on our four-year anniversary in yes. a couple months. Four-year so. anniversary. So that we was talking about this right before we shot. So mm. we were like, four, four years? Yeah, yeah. No. So explain four to years. people how it feels like three months to mm -hmm. us, but it's been four years. Yeah, I mean, and that trips a lot of people up, but we were married for a year and a half before mm -hmm. the show ever came out. So we, ha thankfully, because we needed that time to for kind sure. of bond as a yeah. couple, yeah. you know, before yeah. all the craziness mm -hmm. happened. Yeah, so mm -hmm. the show came out in 2020. Yep. Yeah. So you guys got married, what, mid-2018? Yeah, it yeah, was the November. End of November. On my birthday. On her birthday. Shut up. Happy I did birthday. that on purpose. Yeah, <laughs> I did I that on purpose. Gift. <laughs> I was mad. was the gift. <laughs> Cam was the gift. <laughs> and then we saw that a year and a half later, and then yeah. you guys you became famous almost immediately. Mm -hmm. You were this, mm -hmm. the darling couple. And I, for one, am glad that you guys are still together. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Um, so, yes. Transition. <laughs> That was I never know where to go. No, that was great. I never know where to that go. That was great. Melissa usually needs to love our wife, conversation. She, you know, she... I literally was in my brain. My you. brain was like, we're running out of runway. So you're either going to take the plane <laughs> off or you're going to have to <laughs> turn the oh, engine oh, off. I never want to jump in too soon. I want to make sure I give you your space. But, child, you'd be like, and done. <laughs> <laughs> no one. that's warning. it for me. That's the end. I'll be cracking it. It was a little, a little it. much on the laptop. <laughs> Why was it? Because, you know, Apple would be ready to break. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you touched me hard. Oh, new new laptop. Show oh, right. absolutely. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay. So we are here, obviously, for our Marriage Be Hard conversations. Mm -hmm. This is um, about our book marriage be hard available thank, thank you, you. Amazing, amazing. Thank, thank you thank it you. will be available everywhere september 13th please make sure that you go out and cop that mm -hmm. i said cop i don't know i feel kind of cool, cool you were cool yeah, yeah, yeah that was, I that was was cool. for one i, I thought that was thank you <laughs> <laughs> appreciate all of that so this is what we're going to do we're going to have a conversation with lauren and cameron because they have been married and we're just mm -hmm. going to go quickly over some of the chapters that are in the book and we're just going to have a conversation about it y'all yeah, ready let's do it yes. let's talk let's about it into now it. before we begin mm -hmm. this is my own personal question that i threw in the mix melissa mm -hmm. produced the rest <laughs> <laughs> i would i want to know what is the biggest misconception about your marriage mm -hmm. um that you think people have mm -hmm. that may right. or may not may be true or may not be true yeah, I mean, I think the biggest misconception is that people are just like, you guys aren't really married, are you? Like, oh, no, it's just for me. TV. Like, it's all fake. You guys are just married <laughs> for for fun. I don't know. I don't. Yeah. But that's definitely we're clearly married. We've been married for four years, right. even though we got married in an unconventional way. Our marriage is very real. Well, okay. and here's here's the thing to the title of your book, Marriage Be Hard. Mm -hmm. Like, you can't fake it for Show four up. years it's show way up. too hard right. for that yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. it's a job you have to show up all the time so right mm -hmm. there's Every no day. there's no falseness to it you know yeah i i mean i both can't believe that and can believe that people think you like you're just a character right, right. from a tv like, like it was a scripted tv show like this people is an think, ongoing yeah. thing yeah, yeah. <laughs> They get this idea that that reality is scripted, but it's not really the case. Maybe there are some that not are scripted, our situation. but definitely not our show. And I would say uh, another big misconception is I think people see us on Lib and they kind of idealize mm -hmm. it and they think it's like puppy love like four yeah. years later. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we're real married couple to that same note so marriage we, be hard yeah yeah <laughs> okay marriage so be it's hard. not always rainbows i mean yeah. sometimes yeah. we have to have difficult conversations and mm -hmm. you know we're not all up under each other 24 7. you know i actually want to have one more question if, if i'm allowed one thing that i it just clicked in my mind mm -hmm. you guys also became famous yeah. yeah so melissa and i've been together for a long time and mm -hmm. i've been kept on stage for a long time but i haven't been famous 
or a celeb for a long time. Mm-hmm. So we had years of regular, I went to the bank at work, she went to the bank, yeah. you pick yeah. up Zay, I'll pick up Joe, yeah. you got the diapers, I got, you know, <laughs> moderate success then came, and then it was like, oh, snap, Kev's yeah. getting recognized. Mm-hmm. You guys went from obscurity mm-hmm. yeah. to, I mean, and y'all got famous in the pandemic when we yeah. was all at home. Right. Yeah. Everybody yeah. I know was like, we didn't Lauren again, Lauren again. Yeah. But look at y'all. So yeah. y'all have that element of like, what I'll call people in y'all business, mm-hmm. gossip blogs, gossip oh, yeah. site, shade yeah. room type stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How difficult was that? <laughs> and I feel like it was like a light switch probably oh, from yeah. like, oh snap. And then y'all didn't have social media right away, right? Like during um, the show's airing. Oh, we yeah. had we social media, but you know, it, it's so funny how the reality world works. Some stuff we had to taper off until the show was mm-hmm. completely because it's like, right. y'all can't show everything. People need to wait and find yeah. out. Like, we've been married for a year and a right. half. We're yeah. tired of keeping this a secret. Yeah. Right. But, um, you know, so yeah, we had to kind of ease back into social media. Was that a difficult addition to a young marriage of having all these people commenting on your marriage and stuff? Yeah. Oh, gosh, yeah, of course. And people, you know, they try to nitpick everything and interpret body language in the episodes. Right. Did you and see Lauren eating those chips? She did not offer Cam any. Yeah. See, this is what I'm talking about. You know, she don't I'm appreciate you. He was it's looking like, like he wanted like one. Stuff like that. Like, <laughs> yeah. like, was I? I don't right. think I wanted one, but now I got to go back and look yeah. and right. try you to figure out Maybe one. I did yeah. want one. You know? But it's stuff like that. And I think that early on, as soon as the show came out, me and Cam just sat down and had a conversation like, no matter what, mm-hmm. no matter what people say, it's always you and I at the end of the day. That's, like, yeah. that's good. We yeah. are partners. That's outside noise. Of course, yeah. we're grateful. Ooh, sorry. We're grateful for everybody's love, but yeah. at the end of the day, it's about you and me. Mm-hmm. So and that wonderful. was really a pillar for us. That is important because obviously people watching, most of us ain't going to be on the show. Mm-hmm. However, folks do be in your business. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's the reality of the situation. They sure do. That The folks that could be in your business could look like your mama, could look like your daddy, no. mm-hmm. could look like your brother, yeah. your sister, your friends, your mm-hmm. whomever. Yeah could be in your business and when they do that it can cloud how mm, you feel and yeah. then you come back home with the energy that you didn't leave with mm, yeah that's true so that's you do true. have to be aware of you and then you have one of the things you said which will will go directly into it mm-hmm. is communication yeah mm-hmm. you have to be on the same page mm-hmm. because that will be the quickest way Oh, to absolutely. have some disagreement in your household if y'all ain't on the same page and then this person over here is saying and now you all of a sudden you looking like you know what right like just wait a minute wait a minute <laughs> hold on <laughs> That so, kind of made sense. Yeah. Well, yeah. And you ain't never thought about it. And right. now all of a sudden you got all these think pieces because yeah. so-and-so said this. You got to guard your energy, guard your heart, guard your your marriage, yourself, oh, yeah. your mental, all that. Mm-hmm. It's, it's so easy, like you said, to get clouded by someone offering. Because you on. didn't even ask Come for on, it. Come on, half no. the time. Okay, you mm-hmm. didn't even ask for it, but offering how you should feel mm-hmm. in a yeah. situation. And it's so important to just be like, wait, no, this is this is me. This is my life. You can't tell me how I feel 100%. or what's going on. Right. Like, I'm present in this. So. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, it, it's, so. on, it's on all levels, too. Everything mm-hmm. from your physical appearance to your relationship dynamics, mm-hmm. how you take care of your dog how you take care of the household They're mm-hmm. like oh i saw on your last story slide there was like some dust on the window yeah. set, you know <laughs> oh i mean wow. it's like on all levels like yeah. go find you some business and stay <laughs> out of mind <laughs> <laughs> please and thank you right. um, okay so let's get into it uh first thing uh, we talked about it but we're gonna ask again marriage be hard yes or no why or why not Ooh. Marriage be hard. Absolutely marriage be hard. Yes, I yes. mean, I think a lot of people are just like, oh, you know, I can't wait to be married. Everything's going to be so smooth. I'm going to have my person. And it is beautiful. Don't get me it wrong. Is. Marriage is a beautiful partnership um, if you continue to grow and communicate, which I know we're going to do that. <laughs> um, but, you know, but um, it's hard. It's a compromise because you become a partnership. Mm-hmm. It's not all yeah. about you yes. anymore. It's not just yeah. like, well, this is what I want to do. I This is, you know, it's like, okay, I have to consider this person's feelings because we're joined as one entity almost so it's difficult yeah and figuring out where to compromise and and where not to because you do have to compromise sometimes Mm -hmm. and also we all have things about us that are difficult to live with Mm. you know (laughs) we do 
<laughs> Say it again. <laughs> Wait a minute. Ooh. What do you mean? Oh, oh no, Cam, you. talk to me. Focus. <laughs> what <We>, difficult <laughs> no, all, all no, humans, I'm just, I'm we joking. all have something difficult about us. That I makes love it that. Me too. To I do too. Yeah, yeah, we do. That is so true. I think we were talking off camera about one of my difficulties to live with. And I think. Do you want to share? Sure. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll share. I'll share. You don't have to. No, no, I don't mind. Yeah, because we were talking about me and Melissa actually had a conversation about this this yeah. morning, mm -hmm. right? Because we had some of these hard conversations. It was okay. so funny. I was shaving this morning. She turned the shower on, <laughs> and the way she turned the shower on, I was like, "We finna talk." Yeah, it was. <laughs> she aggressive. not finna get in the shower. <laughs> it was it was, I was already I, out the shower. I said, mm, "She." So I she said, I "Promise you, the Holy Ghost dropped it in my spirit." <laughs> she said, <laughs> "I promise you." I turned the shower. I said, "You know what?" <laughs> She was like, that thing yesterday, what you, <laughs> what you had meant. <laughs> so one of the things that one of my flaws, um, communication-wise, and mm. the, I'll give you the context and I'll say why this is how I am. Mm -hmm. yeah. In my mind, at any given moment, I'm thinking about, I'll give you my mind right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We got this. Okay, Spice is here. His wife's getting the makeup done. We got to shoot at 2 o'clock. Okay, we should be done by 3.30. My uh, exec texts me on the side. Do you guys have time later to talk about these things? Haven't been able to respond to that text. Mm. Will that meeting happen today? If it doesn't, can't happen on the weekend. Monday, I'm shooting all day. Will I have time then? Probably not. Also, I have a show after this. Mm. I don't know what I'm talking oh about on gosh. stage tonight. I got to be there by 530. I haven't done 45 minutes in eight months. Somehow I got to come up with it before now and then. Does JoJo have a soccer game tomorrow or Sunday? Melissa ain't said nothing. Possibly don't. Really need them not to have a soccer game. I ain't exercising five five or six days i should get up but also i should rest i should get a massage tomorrow that's just oh, from now yeah. until monday yeah so what my, what Relatable. happens in my mind yes. i will splurt out the piece of a middle thought mm. melissa i ain't got no jokes we talked about it now <laughs> i haven't given her context thought none of that stuff so yeah. in my mind as the train's going off i like spurt out a thought knowing in my mind mm. yeah. what i'm thinking right but i don't give her the or grand. anybody else nearly enough information right. to do anything it's like I, a piece of a piece of a hang yeah, of a, a thought it's yeah. a, pe a little piece of a burger it's a, <laughs> it's a synapse fire off yeah. but in my mind i'm like i have communicated clearly my thoughts about this comedy <laughs> show next task so my mind is so task oriented yeah. that i don't stop to think oh did i give that person mm -hmm. whoever it is enough information to do what they need or to know what they know mm -hmm. or need to know yeah. so in marriage wise uh, what we were talking about is this comedy show. I talked, so my three thoughts were might have to do a comedy show at the end of the summer, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, that comedy show might not happen. Comedy show's happening. In my mind, we have had three full conversations <laughs> about this comedy show. In my mind, great job, Kev. You're good. I did it. <laughs> Never told her, oh, actually, this comedy show, I'm, I'm, I was supposed to host. All right, I'm going to host. I'm going to fly some people in. Mm. Greg's taking care of that. It's actually confirmed on July 29th at 7 p.m. It's going to be a free show. Are you available to come? Like, I talked to you three times about it mm. back in May. In your mind. In my mind, I've <laughs> <laughs> spoken clearly about that. Yeah. But Melissa's complained about that. Everybody who's ever worked under me has mm. complained about that. Josh, who works clearly with me, complains about that. Angel complain like everyone complains. Mm. Yeah, Kevin doesn't give me enough information. Yeah, yeah I just to heard do that it. like a few minutes ago. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so if you want it from me now, if you ask me all the questions, I will answer them all. Yeah. Right. But if you expect me to deliver it to you, mm. yeah. Best of luck. Mm. Have you have you figured out a way to kind of compensate for that? We lit literally were. Kim, Kim, Kim you better business. get up in here <laughs> and be calm and my, hey, and, you know, and helpful. That's why I'm here. We only met you twice. Calm we only met. <laughs> so what we were talking about, and this I will give Melissa kudos on this because I think it was a very smart way yeah. of doing this. Mm -hmm. In my mind, I'm like, she's like, I want to know. I don't know how we got to the point where we're having a show. Here's three comedians. You posted it on Patreon, and I didn't know about it. Because nothing oh. burns me up more. Right? Yeah, nothing burns me, me up more. So, yeah, that's fair, really fair. And I told her, yeah. fair. But in my mind, I'm like, I, I went to text her, and my thumbs was heavy. I backspaced, called her. I was like, girl, I didn't talk to you about this. <laughs> so when we were talking this morning, she was like, what, what, what in your mind gave the idea that our last conversation and then this flyer, there was enough in between. And I was like, <laughs> no, okay, fair. So what, cause, so what I was like, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to remember to tell you, mm -hmm. right? That's what I said. I'm going to remember to update you along the way. She said, let me reframe this. I would like to know about how your day went. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. if you tell me how your day went mm -hmm. in full, 
Then, because I was telling her how my mind processes, like I just told you guys, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. if you tell me how your day went in full, I could say, oh, this pastor called me, that show mm -hmm. is going to actually happen. Mm -hmm. I need to get some comedians, because I ain't really feeling confident to do 45 straight up. Mm -hmm. But I could probably split 45 up into 15-minute increments if I could look at my jokes while they're on stage. Mm -hmm. But if they go and then I go, I can't get through 45 without thinking, because you got to build up yeah. to that. So dang, man, I, I shouldn't have done this. I should have just paid more for the church and did whatever. Like, yeah. if I just share my thoughts, yeah. then she'll have the information she needs. But if mm. I try to have another thing that I need to remember, mm -hmm. I will likely forget. And this forgetting doesn't come across as forgetting. It comes across as I'm not important enough for you to tell me something. Uh. When it's really just, I just be going. Yeah. Like, and sounds like, like too much going on i mean not too much but no no so a lot much. going on it's yeah. too much going on in my mind but yeah. like you said kudos to melissa because she said you know what just you could just tell me about your day mm -hmm. like yeah even and it wasn't saying it like that was like she was giving you sugar instead of salt you know yes. what i'm saying it came it went from this to yeah. this yeah because she was like i want to help you i don't want to put it off as like a mm. problem you have to solve mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's i want to be a part of the solution That's which good. immediately uh, lifted the weight, lifted the yeah. weight off of me, and also took me off the defensive. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm like in my mind, like, dang, this is another person saying I don't do this, right? Cause at, right. at my job, I could just tell you, you work for me. Ask me the questions. Right. If you don't ask me, yeah. it, it's your fault. Yeah, and maybe yeah. like an, an employee employer relationship is not the same as a marriage partnership, mm -hmm. so it doesn't apply the same. So yeah. it was really helpful. You know, and then I was, and then she got in the shower. I was like, you good? You know, good. Mm -hmm. We cool. Now? We cool. We <laughs> good? She was like, mm -hmm, we good. You know what I'm saying? So that was also helpful. I yeah, love that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I love that. Okay, very good. <laughs> let's move on to the next one. Uh, let's do this one. Marital roles be hard. Yes mm. or no? Do you even subscribe to marital roles, gender roles, traditional, mm. that kind of thing? You know what? I feel like we make our own. Oh, does <laughs> it? Does it be hard? Uh. Uh, I, it's not super hard for us. Yeah. The roles aspect. I feel like we create our own roles. Um, yeah. Traditional in a sense. Yeah. I think we're somewhere in the middle between traditional roles and more modern, I guess you could say. Like, mm -hmm. I do a lot of the um, fixing things around the house or the outside mm -hmm. chores. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, protecting the house. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we have a joint account where we pay the bills together for for most of our expenses mm -hmm. and mm. things like that. So we're, yeah, I think, it, and I think that's important in the marriage to set your own standards. Yeah. I feel like people have to do what works for them. 100%. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you can't go off of somebody else's marriage. Like, Oh, will it work for them? We need right. to do it. Like, no, no, you need to find out what works for you and your partner. What makes you happy. And that's what you flourish in. It's like you can't try to copy other people's happiness. You got to find your own. Man. Come on and say the words. Yes. And I think that that's really, you know, what worked for us. We just kind of found our way because, you know, I, I've i never been married before. No, <laughs> you know, neither. this is my first time being married and it happened quick, y'all. And the last. <laughs> and the last. Period. And the last. Period. So, you know, I just, I felt like I didn't want to subscribe, like you said, to what it's supposed to be. This is yeah. oh, this is what it's supposed to be. It's like, right. no, I'm going to do what makes me happy and what makes my husband happy, and mm -hmm. that's what works for us. Yeah. yeah. I love that. I most certainly 100% mm -hmm. agree that um, I think sometimes it is easy to idealize or, like, romanticize mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. marriage will look like, mm -hmm. and this is what I'll be doing, and da 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 And then you get into it, and it's one of two things. Either you realize, first of all, that's not at all. Right. <laughs> that's not at all who I yeah. am. This is not what I thought it was going to be. Listen, right. that's right. not at all what I thought or what I wanted to. I, this whole time, my whole life, actually, I've been telling Kim this, my whole life, I've been like, you know, I need to be in on like Wall Street and wearing like five inch heels <laughs> with the uh -huh. briefcase and like skirt. the pencil skirt. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, give man. me a uh, uh, Sandra Carrie Bullock Bethel. in uh, um, no uh, Sandra Bullock in um, forget about it. I can see the thing, the one with uh, the other white the dude, proposal? the proposal. Oh, yeah. Thank you, yes. precisely that. Yes. That image, that's like who I thought I was going to be in life. Mm. Like yeah. I wanted to be a lawyer walking down Wall Street, taking names, Damn. like yeah, doing all the things. Yeah. Here lately, F all this. <laughs> 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 Is there any world in which I could just stay at home and be a mom? Uh, yeah. yeah. I, I'm so tired of the hamster wheel. Mm. Oh, yeah. That is social media. Oh, God. That is Girl. influencing. Talk I'm about it. Please. So over it. So I know <laughs> that's what I it. thought I wanted. No longer. 
No. Yeah. No, give me traditional <laughs> gender roles, please. Sign me up. <laughs> <laughs> Take it Let for a hundred. Let me just be at home. Let me just be at home and do brunch and mimosas. I don't know. I don't want to do yeah. this anymore. That's what I do now. Yeah. Yeah. So I think I it's also you. like it can change, and that's yeah. okay oh, too. Absolutely. I think what Lauren said is so key. You have to do what works for you. I remember mm -hmm. traditionally, at least the way I grew up, the man took care of the bills, mm -hmm. right? It, it was based off the man made the money and took care of the bills. Right. And then by the time Alyssa and I got married, it, and the way the world was set up, the man and the woman had to work. Because mm -hmm. we couldn't make it off of just my salary alone, God bless. Yeah. Uh, and I remember early in our marriage, I had always paid my own bills by myself mm -hmm. um, and never had a missed payment. He, he was failing miserably. <laughs> oh, no. Tell the truth, Melissa. Tell the truth. I had 800 on a credit score before our marriage, and now get off. <laughs> See, that's so, going to be a conversation later, Steve. But when we got we'll together, back. we'll circle back. We got together, and it was her bills plus my bills. There was too many bills. Yeah. yeah, okay? yeah. I had a minimal amount of bills. Right. They were set up. I did my little payments, and that was it. Yeah. Her bills plus mine, her payment plus mine. I got paid weekly. She got paid every other. Somehow I started getting late and missing up. Yeah. Messing, missing payments. Nothing past credit, but some late. Mm -hmm. I remember I told a deacon, so what we did in our relationship. I was like, Liz was like, maybe I should take over the bills, you know, because you've been messing up mm -hmm. in a nice way. And I was like, you know what? <laughs> take it. Take my little money. Just I got my little spending money, whatever. Yeah, let me take manage care this. The, you managed it and didn't make me no never mind. Mm -hmm. End up telling a deacon about it during one of our men's retreats. And he was like, you ain't no real man if you don't pay them bills. Sure did. <laughs> he was old school military. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ain't no real man. First of all, his wife was married to him. She outranked him. So what's old school, oh, sir? Wow. You got to right. salute her. Now hush. Hello. But, uh, she did too. He had a chip on his shoulder. <laughs> right. Yeah. He had a chip on his shoulder. And I remember telling him, oh, listen, man, that's y'all. Right. This is me. Because mm -hmm. I don't want my credit to be bad trying to prove to you that I'm a real man. Mm -hmm. And this time, Mel on, since kid. then, I don't know. We, we, Melissa might not have ever paid a bill since then. Mm -hmm. I don't know about it. <laughs> the lights be on when I turn them on. Fridge ready to be full when I'm hungry. Everything. Right. <laughs> That's, That's really all that matters. matters. Yeah. That's all That's that all And matters. I think a lot of times we try whatever that is. It don't necessarily gender roles, but what your dad did, your mom. You try to recreate that. Yeah. But yeah. you're 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 recreating a relationship that you are you are not that person and your partner is not that person. Correct. Mm. So you you recreating with the wrong materials. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you got to do what works for you because yes. people give you advice based on how their relationship Correct. works. Mm. Yeah. And plus, even to add on to that, Kev, you know, some people have certain strengths and some people are better, mm. especially in a yeah. partnership. Like, yeah, maybe Cam's strength is being is organizing or strategizing and mine is doing whatever so maybe he's better like like with you guys organizing mm -hmm. the bills and stuff mm -hmm. it's like you gotta do what works for you yeah, yeah. Gotta do what works for you. I agree. I know you guys were obviously married on tradition, but it's four years. It's real. Okay? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, it's very real. Yeah, like, <laughs> listen. Yeah. At some point, I mean, obviously, I know everyone's always going to mention how you guys yeah, were, you know, but it's four years. Mm -hmm. This yeah. is the, y'all. Oh, we, we in that. Time. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on, so I wonder if um, get, did you have any preconceived notions, romanticized view of what you thought marriage would be versus mm. the reality of what it is four mm. years into it? Ooh, that's a that's a deep question. Kind <laughs> it of. is. It is. You know what? I feel like growing up and I just speak for myself as a little girl. Of course, you know, every little girl dreams is like, oh, I'm going to be a wife one day. I'm going to be baking cookies. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have my little heels and silk robe <laughs> on and stuff. And it's just like actually being in marriage is like, no, like Cam said, this is almost like a job. Mm -hmm. It's hard work. Everything is not fantasy. Although, don't get me wrong, you do have those fantasy moments mm -hmm. um, which are beautiful, but it's hard work. Yeah. It really is. It's hard work. Um, Lots of patience required for yeah. the job. Mm -hmm. And that was, I think that was the biggest thing that I mm -hmm. learned was like, you got to have so much patience to, to show up because kind of to some of our earlier conversation, um, when you both have things that you need to work on, it's it's might be something that requires a few conversations mm -hmm. to even correct it. Yeah, and yeah. You might mess up, and you might have to go back and have that conversation again. And and so having those conversations and and having enough trust in your partner, or they having enough trust in you to endure that period where you finally correct it. I mean that's tough. Mm -hmm. I was we we were talking about that's this. Good. This ad yeah. is great. You, we were talking about this morning. Melissa was saying, and I thought it was such a nice way of putting it. She was like, uh, <laughs> two things that I thought were great. 
she was like, this is what we're working to towards. Mm-hmm. And for now, let's just focus on this. Because you're like, let's, I'm, I'm going to do this, this, right, that. Right. You know what? We ain't got to do all this. Baby mm-hmm. steps. Let's just focus. If we can get this what's right. What's in front of us. What's in front of us consistently, then you can add the next layer mm-hmm. on, on top of that. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So I think, yeah. uh, you know, working towards, it's so key. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? Because it is going to be more than one conversation. It is going to be more. It's not like now that we've had this conversation, I will now communicate perfectly with you. Yeah. Sure. Right. Right. After 39 years, that <laughs> conversation this morning before the shower I am fixed. <laughs> like, I am good. I've been doing this for 39 years. I'm yeah. not going to about face immediately, but yeah. at least working towards this, we'll yeah. know, okay, this is it. And, it. and a lot of times, if you just believe your partner's working towards something, there's more grace to give. Oh, 100%. Oh, yeah. If you believe yeah. they are earnestly working towards, mm-hmm. even if it's yeah. clunky or, yeah. you know, you mess up or you stumble or you click teeth when you kiss, mm-hmm. whatever that <laughs> looks like, <laughs> you're working towards this communication part being easy. Yeah. And next thing you know, a couple of years down the line, you're like, oh, man, remember we used to be messed up without mm. that? This yeah. is now smooth. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I think that's very helpful yeah. if you believe your partner is working with the best intention. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. And I think that that speaks to the evolution of people, right? Because mm-hmm. it's like, you evolve as a couple, but you also evolve as individuals. Yes. So you're yeah. constantly yeah, yeah, growing, yeah. constantly changing. So it's going to be sometimes you have to have conversations right. over again from oh, yeah, maybe yeah. even a different perspective now because your life has changed yeah. or, you know, so it's it's a constant growth thing. It, I don't feel like, like we said, it's not just one conversation. Mm-mm. Everything's fixed. Like, yeah. no, marriage is for the long haul. Yes. Yeah. That's how, you know, hopefully yes. it's yeah. supposed to be for the long yes. haul. Yeah. So, you know, that takes growth and, and uh Evolution. And I was, will, oh, go ahead, Kim. No, I was just gonna say that willingness to like the next day you wake up and like, all right, I'm right back in it. Like, right, let's keep going. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, I love to use sports analogies for our men watching or women who like sports, and I yeah. think about it like you an should athlete. just like to use them for myself. <laughs> Correct. I think about like <laughs> LeBron fit James. Nobody. LeBron, <laughs> LeBron James. Like when you're working on your game, mm-hmm. right? When he came in the league, he's just running and dunking. Mm. He don't have to do nothing else because you can't run and jump with them. Right. But then he's like, the reason I thought about this, he was practicing on Instagram the other day. He's like mm-hmm. just shooting around. I'm like, this man been in the NBA for 20 mm-hmm. years. Mm. He is still practicing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you work on your fadeaway. That might not be part of your game for three years. But mm-hmm. now you're at, and that's I th- think marriage is like always constant, 20 years in, still practicing, yeah. still mm-hmm perfecting still getting better Mm -hmm. still getting hurt getting injured still learning and i think that's how you have to approach it if you want to be good yes if you don't want to be good don't practice don't care (laughs) but if that's the case you probably won't last yeah either I like that analogy. I do too. Great. That was a good one. See, that one of my best. Analogy. That's all you got. To, that's all we need. One of my best. That's good. <laughs> We've been circling around this, and I think I just want to say it. communication be hard. Yes or no? Yes. yes. <laughs> Period. Yes. That was unanimous. I'm gonna tell you why I actually think I'm gonna let you guys speak as well. I think the biggest um, problem, or the reason why communication is often hard, is if I could use the example Kevin and I had this morning. I have been saying. We've been talking about this communication for a long time. Mm -hmm. Mm. Today was the first time I was able to frame it differently Mm. that made better sense to Mm. how I felt Mm -hmm. and what he was able to receive and understand. Mm. Mm. I think the hardest part about communication is sometimes we don't communicate well within ourselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we don't communicate to someone else good either or well i don't know the right word good well good well yeah Yeah. (laughs) i think that's it i think if we could and that's not to say like we're like dishonest or lying to ourselves i just don't always think we have the language yeah Yeah. and so if i don't have the language to say it to myself Mm -hmm. in what world am i able to communicate it effectively to you to then satisfy the need that i'm trying to communicate to you come on melissa (laughs) that is a gem right there i hope y'all was listening y'all need a notebook write that down (laughs) Write that down. <laughs> no, for real. That's that's good stuff. That's good I stuff. I think one example in our marriage of this is Melissa and I now know one and more vulnerability from me. Mm-hmm. Right. And this is probably about three or four years ago. Okay. Mm-hmm. Those first conversations weren't I need more vulnerability from mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. It was we don't even talk no more. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Girl, yeah. I talk to you every day, huh? <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Our conversations don't be deep. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. What I don't we ain't young no more. <laughs> like what she was actually saying is I feel like you're not vulnerable enough with me to share your fear, your fears as well as your successes. Mm-hmm. It took us True. a <laughs> lot of conversations of yeah. you go come home from work and go to bed. Okay, so mm-hmm. I'm going to come home and put my phone down and look at you and talk. <laughs> <laughs> Still ain't deep? Well, I'm tired. <laughs> because I think, what, to your point, 
what you were trying to express wasn't coming across. So mm-hmm. I'm trying to make the actual know. thing. Yeah. 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 So, at, and this is where I think therapy is very helpful. Yeah. Therapy often gives you the words for what you've been trying to say. 100%. And somebody professional often helps you disseminate that more clearly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think because of therapy, you were able to do today mm-hmm. what therapy has helped you learn. Yeah. And now, because I, I was, she was getting frustrated. She started talking fast. <laughs> Heart started beating fast. I said, I feel you're upset. She said, I'm emotional. I was hey, emotional. Yes. I but was now, upset, but words, I was emotional. words mean things. Words mean things. Shut up. How you frame it. They and do. when she was able to identify what she was trying to communicate, what was missing, and communicate that clearly without anger, frustration, name calling, that was that allowed me to hear it. And my desire to want to help and and meet that need mm. is a lot easier. But I think prior to therapy, that wouldn't have happened True. as smoothly, even though we were still trying just as hard four or five years ago with the same. Because at the end of the day. This is still a piece of vulnerability. Yeah. yeah. It was still a piece of like. Absolutely. Because I told her, I said, okay, you want to be honest? Okay, I'm going to be honest. Mm-hmm. I ain't been on stage. She's like, you flying comedians and I don't know about it? I said, well, girl, I'm nervous. I ain't performing in 45 yeah. minutes. Yeah. So I don't want to do it all by myself, but I don't right. want to share that with you because if I say that out loud, then I'd be like, why are you nervous? You ain't good no more. And now I got to mm. deal with the insecurity of comedy. Right. I can't tell you that out loud because now I got to <laughs> acknowledge it. Right. Now you got me acknowledging and I still got to perform tonight. That's right. a really important point. That yeah. vulnerability, though. Yeah. You opened up a, a part of yourself and you shared that with your wife. Yeah, and let me tell you what else, Lauren. It is hard to share something you don't acknowledge. Yeah. Ooh. So how can I share with you that I'm vulnerable if I'm not acknowledging it myself? Yeah. Mm. So that's what I had to... Th- the first time I told her was the first time I actually said out loud. Wow. My, my ego wow. says, just get to hear and EJ and Cletus yeah. and make that's it a better real. show. I think that's it right that's there. That's the truth. Yeah. My, the truth the was ego. my ego was like, Nikki, you can't really do 45 right now. <laughs> yeah. You ain't been on stage for less more than seven minutes since December. Yeah. <laughs> and they come real. in to see you. Mm-hmm. Spread yeah. it around. Right? So yeah. that's why I had to be honest with myself. And then mm-hmm. she was like, ah. Did you feel lighter after you shared that? I felt like I took a Because he's talking about it just as <laughs> much today. Yeah. Well, it's also very fresh. Yes. But it's yeah. on point. Like, I yeah. felt like you have to navigate so many things sure. at once yeah. in order to really communicate. You're asking, and I, I honestly, what's also helpful is I was going to therapy on my own mm-hmm. because marriage therapy was really for me and her. Yeah. Yep. Personal therapy was just for me and right. childhood Kevin. It's hard to talk about both, but I feel like to be a good partner, you should deal with both. Yes. Absolutely. Because yes, a lot of yes, your personal yes. issues will manifest in your into your marriage. Yes, and do. the worst part of it is you're unaware of why you're Come acting on, this way. Mm. Yeah. And your therapist will help you identify, because I'm going to tell you, I'm going to share this story. I've shared it before, but it's really poignant. My real dad wasn't in my life. It's really what? Poignant. I know I use that wrong. No, I think you said impoignant. Uh, like important, I, important Poignant, together. pungent, <laughs> punctual. These are all one word to me. <laughs> my real dad wasn't in my life at all, right? So... That manifested to me before I had sons. I'm gonna be the best dad. I'm gonna be at every soccer game, be at everything, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Had two sons. Here's my chance to rectify what you messed up. Mm-hmm. Right. That manifests as we're gonna get JoJo a PlayStation for his birthday. Mm-hmm. We agree to that. Mm-hmm. Somehow I buy it and surprise him before yeah. she gets home mm-hmm. and oh. record it. Mm-mm. So now mm-hmm. she come home and I'm showing her the video like, look, hey, look at this moment we have. That manifestation of my real dad not being in my life came up as let me make sure I have these moments yeah. with my son, mm-hmm. which is fine wow. if but not at the expense of her having these moments. Yeah. Right, so right. without therapy, I don't even acknowledge that's why I'm acting this way. So she's yeah. like, why are you? Why are you doing this? I'm like, girl, the the ego is like, I'm trying to be a good father. Mm, oh, right. I'm gonna just be a good father. Mm. It, I didn't say all this out loud, but in my head, I just said, <laughs> women will be happy. Be uh, they ain't got no baby daddy. He won't buy the fourth kid McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> and you complain because I bought my son a PlayStation. I've been been Not here. The fourth kid McDonald's. Yeah, the fourth, you know, when my son get the McDonald's. I know it was fake, but at the time we thought it was real. Oh lord. Yeah. So my ego is saying all that, but yeah. the actual person who wants to be a good partner had to really look at that and say. Oh snap! You create scenarios where you have all the good memories, but mm-hmm. they're at the expense of Melissa. Mm-hmm. How about you create memories for all four of you yeah. instead of? But I didn't even realize it. That's mm-hmm. what my therapist was talking about shadow work. 
If you don't acknowledge it, you will act out in a way and you don't even know where it's coming from and you definitely don't think it's a problem because yeah. you don't even know why you're acting that way. I'm going through yeah. that right now. <laughs> Look, I, honestly, I've started therapy maybe like uh, two months ago mm-hmm. and it's, it was so long overdue, but I'm kind of in the same category like, man, this is why I do this. Even in our marriage, things I learned about myself that I didn't mm-hmm. even realize from past things, past traumas, even watching my parents' marriage that mm-hmm. wasn't a success that I'm kind of like trying to avoid in our marriage, but by trying to avoid it, I'm like hurting our marriage because mm-hmm. I'm like trying to protect myself yep. and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So therapy is great. Man, it really it's great. is. And it's, yeah. it's so shocking sometimes when you realize the root of like the childhood things yep. that you didn't even to realize. Why you're mm-hmm. acting out this yeah. way Man. in the present time. Because mm-hmm. you think it's all, I got beat, I got this. Some yeah. of it is positive things That's that true. you just have processed in an unhealthy way. Mm. Yeah. So you really can't identify them and you definitely don't know how you're bringing them up in your marriage. Yeah. And I think that's why it's like, me and Melissa talk about people who have married 35, 45, 50 years. Mm-hmm. I'd be like, if they ain't gone to therapy or did that work, they just have said, I'm going to just be married still. Right. But they've given up on being happy mm-hmm. or working through some things. They just have accepted yeah. this is it. This is yeah. just, right, we just here. We just here. We right? here. He got that pension. I can't get no job. Right. I don't want yeah. no job. The kids, is, you know what I'm saying? Like, we didn't want that type of marriage. Yeah. But I ain't going to hold you therapy. But you, when we, it'd be like 545, we going at six, I'd be like, I don't want to talk to this lady. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know right. what we going to un- uncover today. Right. I was having a good day already. <laughs> now I'm talking about when I was seven, and I didn't get three right. sprinkles. Now right. I'm crying. Like, What's happening? Yeah. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing, you know. It's a beautiful thing. It is. And you talk to so many married people, and that's kind of a common thread for a lot is like going to therapy was a changing point in mm-hmm. their yeah. marriage. Give it it gives you those tools that you can really utilize, like you said. Yeah. 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 I think that um I want to say this because I, one of the things that I think marriage sometimes gets a really bad uh, rap about mm-hmm. is when we say marriage be hard and people are like, see, and this is why I'm going to stay single. Oh, this boy. is the thing. Two things can be true. Mm-hmm. Marriage can be a beautiful thing, which Lauren has said several times, mm-hmm. and I just want to make sure that comes across as well. Yeah. But that's also not to say that it's not hard. And part of the reason it's hard mm-hmm. is because of you. Mm. You are the reason that mm-hmm. it's hard. Me, the person, mm. me. I thought I'm you meant the, the audience. Oh, oh yeah, no, I thought no, you. No. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I, I, I was like, no, no, no. as an individual. Yes. <laughs> I, what I mean is, you, the person watching this that may yeah. be single and saying, I don't want to get married because it's hard, well, yeah. don't discount that you are hard too. Yeah. Mm. So, it's hard because of me, because I'm in this as yeah. well, and yeah. I have things that make it difficult to be married to me. Mm. Yes. Yes. Speak now. And so <laughs> that is what makes it, it's not always difficult and hard because of your partner. Yeah. That's the point yeah. I'm trying to make. Yeah, okay, mm-hmm. got It's it. difficult and hard because of you. Yeah. Right. Because if you have unprocessed trauma, if you have mm-hmm. unidentified trauma, if you don't know how to communicate effectively, mm-hmm. that's what makes it hard. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And so the work comes in not only in, you know, reconciling two worlds, two people's lives to become one, it also comes in in reconciling me. Mm. becoming whole me as a person so mm. when i come into this marriage i show up better yeah, mm. yeah. i just want i just yes. felt the need to say yeah. that and i think yes. the point of the book and the reason we share these conversation isn't to like dissuade people but to encourage them and to give them tools like yes. we're talking right. about oh, a yeah. point from like things we've worked through mm-hmm. or are working through yes. you know yeah. what i mean but pregnancy be hard but that don't mean people don't want kids right like, parenting right. be hard but you still you we still bring still these kids you yeah. know what i'm saying like things you want going to work to be do hard. well right. yeah adulting okay. is hard paying right. bills is hard yeah. but that don't mean you don't everything you avoid is them hard everything. is worth having <laughs> that's right you know what I'm everything that is worth having is hard yeah. i agree wholeheartedly Gotta all right last one Already? Yes. I know. This, this ain't the last one. I want to jump in and say one oh, okay. more thing. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. happy you're, you're having a good time. Yeah, I'm always having a good time. I'm having a great yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let me ask y'all something. Wait, let me ask this one. Okay. Let me just ask this one and then we can free, because I feel like you're going to free. Yeah. <laughs> don't yeah. laugh, Cal. <laughs> I don't want you to I don't want you to take over yet until I, okay, you're going to okay. free. <laughs> okay. Okay, very good. Let me just ask this one then. I'm going to go here and then. Okay. Do it. okay. The last one is, because you guys were married in 2018. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. That means y'all went through quarantine. Right. Yeah. Quarantine be hard, yes or no? Girl. Oh, <laughs> this one that was, that Look, that's the answer the right there. That was years, yeah. I think, for mm. our marriage. Because that was also the year that we started working together, mm-hmm. you know, making content, doing all these interviews and shows and whatnot. So 
we had to learn to work together, which I know y'all work Man. together, and, and I'm sure that had such a lot of challenges as well. Yeah. And it there was, was nowhere to run. There was <laughs> nowhere to run. <laughs> we were stuck. We were, were working there. together all the time, living together all the time yeah. at the house. So that was – but, you know, I think kind of to – one of the things we've been talking about like marriage forces you to uh, work on yourself too yes. yeah mm-hmm. and to be better otherwise you're bringing more tension into the relationship yes. yeah um so I th- it, it made our relationship stronger but there were mm-hmm. some moments where it was like it was tough listen and you know a lot of marriages didn't make it through quarantine because no. a lot of <laughs> didn't make it <laughs> listen a lot of people had to deal with stuff that they didn't have to because they could quote unquote run, you know, yeah. like, I don't want to be in this house. I'm going go to go with my boys. I'm going to go to work. Yes. I'm going to go somewhere else. It's like, no, nah, we stuck in this house. We got a problem. We're going to talk about it. Mm-hmm. Or we going to hate each other. What are we going to do? Man. You know? So in that <laughs> aspect, it was good because it forced us to have a lot of conversations that mm-hmm. in another scenario, maybe we wouldn't have, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. you know? So quarantine was hard, but, we're grateful that it helped us grow, and we came out stronger on that oh, end. Yeah, I think. Amen. Yeah, yeah, I agree. <laughs> I agree with everything because it's a, it's a. I think a lot of people's marriages fail, and I'm not even like throwing shade. Yeah, it's it was a lot because yeah. Oh, yeah. we're just talking about the interpersonal relationship. You also have the pandemic. Mm. And the stress of that, and like, yeah. am I gonna get it? Am I sick? How's my family? Mm. You also had economic stuff. Yeah, am I gonna? People was getting you like you have like all like the huge fa- If you had bro, kids, yeah, you got kids. We had kids in school going yeah. to Zoom. Sc- like we were talking Home about before. School. I'm not a teacher. Yeah, <laughs> I have not. I drop you off. I pick you up. I right. don't got to help you log in in three so times X. Mo- this is Common Core math. We yeah. carried the one. <laughs> Y'all regrouping. I don't know. I'm frustrated. <laughs> you know, what I'm saying? Yes. You know like, oh, it wait, was. They're not it was, carrying the one anymore. No, oh, Cam. They what? done. They got Whoa. new stuff. It's, it's no math. It's, it's, it's literally, literally new, new math. math. It's all about the base of ten. So you don't carry. You get to ten. That's a trap. They don't I like one, rote memory. They want you wait. to be able to work it out. And all it feels like is going all the way around it, the mulberry it, it bush. It feels like going all around the mulberry bush. To how, talk about how you change math? Ma- is boy, that a, let yeah, me tell you, there's <laughs> millions of ways. Oh, and we'd be just as frustrated. What you mean? <laughs> boy, I talk about 10 I plus mean, 8. If you put the 8 you, over the 10, it's, it's 18. To help you when you, right. Well, I don't know how you do math. But when you do math in your head, yeah. you do use 10 as a base. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they're just teaching kids to do it like earlier and on paper. Okay. But it don't make sense, though. Right. Okay. And I, and also we have calculators on our phone, so who cares? Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Come on. That, that's the real part. In your pocket. Yeah. So um, I think what Melissa and I working together. Well, what I wanted to say, what you're saying is, yeah, it's it was all these stressors at once. Mm. Yes. Yeah. When you have these stressors, at least you say, okay, I'm going to work. Uh, I'll see you later. I got right. a work trip mm-hmm. out of town. Me and I'm my girls gonna hang out. Mm-hmm. I got a work there. trip. Me and my guys right. gonna hang out. Get a haircut. Get my braids. A few hours yeah. away. You didn't even, even realize. Do it. Cause you weren't like saying I'm gonna I'm gonna take a break from you. You just like I I'm get my hair done. Right. Yeah. Right. I'm going to the grocery store. It was time away. It was yeah. time away, and you didn't realize how. And then when it, I'm telling me and Melissa moved from a very small house to a very large house. Mm-hmm. Okay. Biggest house we ever had during quarantine. Yeah. Nice. Somehow that big house felt small. Yeah. Because that tension <laughs> okay. was taking up all the extra space. Yeah. Tension was like, ooh, y'all That's all far apart. How come it feel thick in here? That is so. Our other house. In here? We was literally on top of each right. other, and we felt great <laughs> <laughs> because yeah. that whole perspective has changed. So I yeah. think um, kudos to anybody who made it, even by yeah. the skin of your teeth. For real. If you made it through that part, especially the 2020 part, like Woo. the March through October, mm-hmm. that was a time compressed. Yes. Like Tell that was stressors yes. that was like people was checking out, getting divorced. I don't know what's happening. I'm moving to an own apartment. It was insane. Yeah. yeah. It was insane. <laughs> it it was an added. Str- it was unexpected. You couldn't mm-hmm. prepare for it, and I think it did. For if you made it through quarantine, you can add an additional three to five years to your. I I oh, add that coefficient. Yeah, no, it's definitely a quarantine <laughs> yeah. coefficient. That's an asterisk. Yes. <laughs> oh, for sure. And even for us, like like you guys said, the show came out like during quarantine, yeah. so we had all this kind of attention on us, mm-hmm. and we're just trying to deal with life every right. day. Like, I'm just yeah. trying to wake up and not cry. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. And people are just like, Lauren, Lauren, tell us about, like, yeah. you know, I'm like, girl, I'm fighting off depression. Like, right. Yeah. No, that's you know, so, real. so 
it's just like That's having so all those eyes and and attention on us during one of the hardest years of yeah. everybody's life yeah. was difficult. I remember having a conversation with Cameron mm. uh, during that time where I was like, I've never felt so simultaneously happy and joyful with you know, my career and the mm-hmm. growth and just the beautiful things that are happening and just disgusted, angry, mm-hmm. depressed, frustrated, yeah. feeling all these things at once. It was just, I've never had those parallels like mm-hmm. that. And yeah. it was just crazy to deal with. It was. Yeah. I totally understand that actually. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I totally understand yeah. that. Uh, quarantine was a time I hope we never have to go back to. <laughs> Please. <laughs> yes. I don't ever want to go back, but I do believe it, propelled even kevin and i into like therapy Mm -hmm. it propelled us into having those difficult conversations as you Mm -hmm. mentioned because when the busyness of life stops Mm -hmm. you are forced to then discuss things that that have been boiling underneath the surface in a way that could have been prolonged had would have been been. yeah yeah yeah. no quarantine uh, yes yeah Yeah. yes (laughs) one thousand percent so my question this ain't in the book i'm just curious Mm-hmm. interracial relationships mm-hmm. do that be hard because one thing we watched when you I was like somehow I think Cam get it in a way people don't get it he <laughs> yeah. was like I know what I know I know what I don't know <laughs> right right but like this is me assuming mm-hmm. yeah is that it has that been an issue for you guys or is it as smooth as it seems to the outside eye I feel like it's smooth overall um, we haven't had any like cultural clashes, like mm-hmm. anything like that, except for when that one time on the show where y'all saw Cam try not to watch that chicken. Uh, but uh, we're gonna we circle, go. we're gonna circle back around that. We we've had conversations we've had, about that. We've had we're, a in a about we're in a better we're place. We're in a better place. We're in a better place now. <laughs> but you know what? Overall, I feel like one good thing that Love Is Blind has taught me and Cameron is that you have to talk about it. Mm, like yeah. no matter how uncomfortable it is, like we're married. When we have children, they'll be biracial children. They'll yeah. have a black mom and a white dad. We can't be uncomfortable with talking about like, 100%. Mm-hmm. hey, even during like 2020 when the BLM mm-hmm. stuff was happening, we had some conversations. Yeah. Because, yeah. you know, Cam, this is just an example. Cam is a fixer. And that was a time where he couldn't fix it. Mm-hmm. And that was tough. Yeah. So we had to have a conversation like, look, you can't fix this. I just need support right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But that we came out so much stronger. Yeah. yeah. From that. But um I feel like with us we try to focus on the things that we have a like. Of course there's gonna be differences. That's a given. Yeah. I mean sure, he's from sure. the country, I'm from the city, I'm from Detroit, yeah. he's from Maine. I'm Maine. a black woman, he's yeah. a white man, you know, it's all these differences, <laughs> but we really try to focus on the things that we have a like and when it comes up when it comes time to have those conversations, then we have them. But you know, Cam has dated black women before me. <laughs> so I'm not his first uh <laughs> experience with Black women. <laughs> no, I'm just saying because it's not like he was shocked. Like, oh my god, you know, oh, yeah, you no. Cocoa you butter. wear a What's bonnet. That? Yeah, a it's just like, <laughs> oh my it's god. like I've seen a bonnet before. Like when right. I show him, it's like, okay, I've yeah. seen that. What's that? Right. So right. it wasn't that type of situation. But I feel like me and Cam are comfortable with each other, and we're not afraid to yeah. talk about things that are difficult. Now, does that go both ways too? Because we, as black people, we like how yeah. Cam fitting into us. But you also got <laughs> yeah. you have his culture to yeah, embrace yeah. and understand. Was absolutely it, Cam from your point of view? How how was that? Well, you know, I think the biggest like difference between us is more the city and country upbringing. Mm-hmm. Really, more so because I just that's just how we grew up and so we have like i'm a big outdoorsman lauren mm. is not as big into <laughs> bugs and i mean i'm not into bugs I don't right. but you know i'm but not you bothered to, them to be outside it. yeah 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 so that's that's been a big thing and and you know i've had to learn one thing that i've had to learn is like even though i have certain ideas about things or like how i grew up like i still want to be accommodating to what she wants like the chicken washing <laughs> situation which wound up like in the shade room and stuff but <laughs> anyways um <laughs> you know i never grew up washing chicken yeah. that, that culturally wasn't a part of my upbringing um but i'm like you know what it's really important to her i didn't really understand how important it was to her mm-hmm. at Very. first mm-hmm. and i just thought it was a big deal mm-hmm. but i just realized like it's it's important to her and i need to do it 
because of how important it is. And it's like, it's not really a big deal for me to do it. Like, sure. I love like, it. You, it's just so serious about Washington. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's a serious thing. It's yeah. important to her, so I got it to make is sure it is, it. And, and it's also a bigger point, though. I think sometimes yeah. you can get caught up in, like, the why instead of yes. it's important to you, so yeah. it's important to me. Exactly. Yeah. Very well said. It's yeah. like you, and I've I've done that before. It's like, well, I try to get into debating the why of doing it. It's like, <laughs> it's a simple thing. Mm. I should just do it. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, if it's gonna make our marriage happier, then then just do it. Right. Mm. Right. And you know? Cam even mentioned, you know, he's from like rural Maine, mm-hmm. and I'm from Detroit. But what we've learned, and what I've learned, is that where he's from, we call it the woods. Right. It's like really country. It's far <laughs> out. The woods and the hood. Have a lot of similarities. That's very true. Mm-hmm. Really, mm-hmm. that is very true. Yes, I mean, you know, <laughs> yeah. poverty. Sure yes. Um, I mean, you can't compare anything to being black, mm-hmm. but right, just right. No, the no. environment that sure, you grow up in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So there was a lot of uh, commonality there. Was that refreshing yes. to be like? Well, you know what? We, we are very different, but there is some common ground that oh, we yes. might not have thought Absolutely. or seen. Absolutely. I mean, the common ground is what drew us to each other on Love is Blind. It was mm-hmm. just like, wow, we're so different, but there are so many things that we have alike that we feel yeah. the same about that we're just, Family you know, passionate about. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. that's the stuff that we focused on. And then later after we got married. You know, that's when the other stuff well, came then, out. Then like, it's like the more particular chicken, things, you know, you know yeah. those like little nuances. Yeah. But but yeah, just to kind of reiterate, like I learned that, yeah, instead of arguing about these little things, you should just do it. Yeah. Just yeah. Do it. Wise words. <laughs> no, it's 100 percent true. I, I, I really think um, I, I tell Kevin this all the time. I'm like, sometimes we get caught even when we were talking this morning. I know we keep talking about it, but we keep talking. We were talking this morning. And I was like, I don't want to get caught up in like the specifics of this mm-hmm. moment. Mm-hmm. And I said, I always want to be able to like extrapolate and see it from a higher level and say yeah. this is a pattern. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So how do we address the pattern? Yeah. Because yes. if we go to the specifics of this, it's going to turn into well, I didn't even say that. Well, mm-hmm. this is what I remember you said. Yeah. Well, that's not even what I meant. Well, that's how yeah. I received it. Well, yeah. then he said this. Okay, so now never we're, gets anywhere. Yeah. Never yeah. gets anywhere. And circle. then you do it again in the next thing because mm-hmm. you are so caught wor- up in the worry. You caught up in the like I done told you on June seventeenth <laughs> that I said it. <laughs> right. At the show, you know right. what I'm saying. And I think in marriage we often uh, it's so interesting how. The incident, the incidents feel isolated, mm-hmm. but it really is the same thing. Oh yeah, Connected. it's just it's manifested in a different yep. way. It looks mm-hmm. different. Mm-hmm. We talk about comedy shows taking the boys out from soccer. The threads are still the same. Yeah, that's that therapy the, right there. That See, is that's that you therapy. Don't, you don't notice it. Yeah, you really don't know. You yeah. just be going on about your life, not noticing. You are recreating the same scenario. You don't get it differently. Different, right. Packaged mm-hmm. differently. You know Same what I'm saying? Gift, different rapping. Mm-hmm. D- different rapping. Mm-hmm. Once you can, and once you can identify it clearly, then you realize how many different ways it happens. Yeah. And you're like, oh snap! Yeah. I was big tripping. Yeah. You know? True. Oh, I've definitely been big tripping. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> so this is our anymore. I'm good. Okay, our last question that we ask all of our cu- uh, couples: What piece of advice would you give your younger married self? Younger married. Mm-hmm. Not just younger. Yeah, your younger married self. First mm-hmm. couple years, either right before you got married or Ooh. like the beginning, beginning stages yeah. versus what you've learned at this point. Mm. Mine would actually be like. Oh, no, I, Mine, just, I hit the mic. Okay. <laughs> Mine would be like, Lauren, it's OK to let go and have a partner. Because I feel like for me, coming from a woman who was single for so long Mm -hmm. and kind of jumping into a marriage fast, I was so used to doing things by myself. It was just like Cam had to come to me one day. It's like, you have a partner. You don't have to struggle to do these things anymore. Like, I'm here for you. We're supposed to help each other and better each other. And I was so, like, kind of fighting that at first. Like, no, I was an independent woman. I I don't need you. I can pick my own. You know, and it's just like, (laughs) girl, you don't have to fight anymore. Mm -hmm. Like, like, you know, it's okay to... Have a partner and enjoy that and be happy and, you know, enjoy the partnership. So Mm. I would tell my younger self, it's okay to let go (laughs) and just enjoy being married. Enjoy having a partner. Wow. I would say that two two things, really. One is just to be patient and to not let your ego get in the way of Mm -hmm. things. And, And so, like, when you're having an argument, you're trying to communicate, you know, 
you really don't get anything from trying to win an argument sure not. with your yeah. spouse. Yeah. There's mm-hmm. nothing to be gained from There's it. There's really not. Um, and when there's something that's going to make your partner happy and it's a small adjustment that you can make, you should try to work on it. Even though you might not get it right the first time. Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. That is so... Yeah, I, it was good. It was so <laughs> good. I don't know why that felt so p- impactful. Yes. Mm-hmm. I don't know what you all would even. tell yourself, though. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Come on now. Nobody ever asked us Yeah, that. I want to know. Because y'all been married for 18 I know, years. I got some wisdom. Mm, let me think about what I would tell my younger self, my younger married Dang. self. Ooh, I know. Y'all done been through some things in 18 Man. years. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it, it would be because 2020 was our year, too. It was a year. It was a pivotal year of change. Mm. Mm-hmm. And so if I could go back to the years prior, I would tell myself, speak up mm. early and often. Mm. Mm. Wow. That's, That's what I would tell yep. myself. Yep. We had a lot. Uh, or I shouldn't say we. I'm going to say me. I had a lot of unspoken um, expectation and resentment mm. because I was silent. Mm. And so 18 years of resentment is a very dangerous yeah. place. Well, yeah. it wasn't 18 at the time. But it resented you to the whole time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From the first day we <laughs> got there, yeah. the resentment began. Yes. On the I know it's <laughs> yes. But it is a very dangerous place. I say this all the time that, you know, being married for however many years is also the amount of years of evidence you have mm. to support whatever Man. narrative. Rico case. You decide. <laughs> no, for real. For, for, no, fact. Yes. <laughs> so having, you know, at the time, 16, what year are we in? So 16, 16 years, let's say, of evidence evidence Mm. of feeling a certain way and being able to perpetuate this narrative that I have which I don't place a hundred percent blame on Kevin because I didn't speak up and say Mm. actually this is what I want actually this is what I need this is a need that's going unfulfilled and we should address it I didn't do that yeah and so I would advise my younger self to speak up early and often Mm. Mm. I would agree with you (sighs) hmm that was a good question. It was. Yeah. Right, it was y'all. We wrote it, <laughs> it and saying, never yeah. thought about it. I know it. Never, yeah, it was. We got a session in the a book great about question. this. Thanks, Melissa. <laughs> <laughs> I would say t- maybe two things. Mm-hmm. One is just because she let it slide, mm. don't mean it slid. Mm. Come on. Right. Okay. That felt like a word. Okay. I know it really did. <laughs> so I, I felt like I was getting away with stuff, and I'm like, this is great. Mm. Yeah. That doesn't mean it's going to go away. Mm-hmm. One day you're going to have to deal with this. I remember at a bank, I had a job. That the, this manager made it so great. She get, It was easy. Mm. When she quit, I, I longed for the days when she, she would come back. Oh, I bet, yeah. And nothing would make it come back. And that would be the second thing that I would say is like, each season is not the same. No. Mm. And each season will require a certain amount of work to get through that season or those years of season. Yeah. And wishing for the previous seasons when it was easier is of no value mm. yeah this is who That's you are this is who is. you are with um and and honestly what you said earlier cam is probably what i needed to hear f- quickly you have your own flaws because mm-hmm. i spent the better part of my early marriage feeling like you lucked up (laughs) because the men around us were just like bare minimum dudes yeah Yeah. so instead of being the best partner i was just like well these people don't even take care of their kids they Mm. don't work yeah and instead of being the best for her i was just i'm better than these guys Mm. yeah but she was not married to those people right right? so i spent time that was wasteful energy yeah like talking about that thinking like that because it doesn't that means nothing to her. She no. would never ha- would have married them anyway. Right. right. So how are you comparing her to somebody she would not have right. went on a date with? Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's my three three. <laughs> that was, I feel that like was we great. had some church up in we here. Oh, <laughs> well, we had a time. We had a time last night. We had a time last night. <laughs> I, love it. I love it so much. Thank you guys so very much for joining us on this edition of Marriage Be Hard Conversations. Thank you, Cameron. Thank yep. you, Lauren. Oh, thank you thank for you. having us. Before we this let you guys go, awesome. if they don't know where to oh, find yes, you, what good, else? Kevin. Where's the socials? What are yeah. the shows? What are the podcasts? Well, they can find us on YouTube at Hanging with the Hamiltons. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Are you guys singing the theme song? Yes. Uh, I always. thought so. That always. is us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I am pretty confident. <laughs> and they can also find us on Instagram, Cameron Reed Hamilton. And I'm Need for L Speed. 
So that's a good place. Yeah. There we go. Check them out, guys. Thank you guys so much for, for pulling thank up. Thank you. This is blessed us. Yeah, this, this is really fun. blessed Loved us. It. This is great. Get the book. Get the book. Y'all go get the book. Marriage be hard. Period. September 13th. Everywhere you be, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.